So what exactly did James Cameron say to annoy the Marvel fans and the media? Over the past couple of days, they've been attacking him, his work. Let's have a read on what he actually said. I'm hoping we'll start getting Avenger fatigue here pretty soon. Not that I don't love the movies, it's just, come on guys, there are other stories to tell besides hypergonadal males without families doing death-defying things for two hours and wrecking cities in the process. It's like, oi. I'm not sure if that oi is like a Jewish oi or is it an English oi. I'm not sure. And a uh, hypergonadal. That's a bit weird choice of words, but he has a point though, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to say, oh, he has a point because he's bashing Marvel. Uh, you, you could say this a lot about a lot of comic book movies, but specifically the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We've got Avengers Infinity War coming out. It's going to be about something like two and a half hours long. Um, it's going to have so many characters, half of them you don't even care about. And it's all very repetitive. It's a bit redundant. And even though he's a fan of the movies, he can still criticise them, he can see through it at some point and say hey this is getting a bit boring and Steven Spielberg has said the same thing yes I know he's taking on the Black Hawk movie for DC I mean Steven Spielberg never said he hates comic book movies, he just said that the genre is going to run dry soon and he has a point, so one day it's going to happen but really the reaction to what James Cameron has said has been uh, predictable, you've got the man babies on YouTube crying and whining. Now even though I'm saying he has a point, on the other hand, it is kind of ironic that this is coming from James Cameron, the guy who's investing all this time in the Avatar movies, like he's making three, four sequels to Avatar, uh, when he could have been doing other films. You know, in the meantime, you've got directors like Alex Garland coming out, making movies like Ex Machina, Annihilation. You've got Chris Nolan doing films like Inception, Interstellar. Ridley Scott is still making, you know, alien movies, whether you like it or not, but he's, you know, he's exploring that universe. And I'm sick of hearing this nonsense about nobody cares about Avatar, right? Now, you can you can say what you want, you know, purple space aliens or blue space aliens, Smurf in, Smurfs in space, dances with Smurfs. You know, James Cameron, when he made Terminator, and then he brought out a sequel 10 years later, and it was took things to the next level, special effects, and direction, all that. I would not bet against him doing the same with Avatar 2. So you can see, you can make as much jokes as you like. People claiming, oh, I'm not going to watch Avatar 2. You'll be there, just like everyone else. Just like they turned up for the first one, they'll be turning up for the second. And the third. And maybe the fourth. Or maybe people get sick of it by then. But anyway, click that like button, share and of course subscribe if you haven't already done so. Leave a comment, let me know what you think about this story. I'm Shaker and I'll catch you next time.